Okay, good evening everyone. It's Dr. Shiva Ayadure. Today we're going to be continuing our series on cardiovascular health and we're going to be talking about NATO kinase. What is NATO kinase? First of all, quick chemistry. If you ever see anything ending with A-S-E, typically means it is a enzyme. There's different kinds of enzymes. So what are enzymes? Enzymes are those things uh, chemically which support a reaction. They're a catalyst, it's called. So enzymes are extremely important for biological function. NATO kinase is what is called a proteolytic enzyme. It's naturally secreted by the bacterium. There's a bacterium called Bacillus subtilis. This bacteria creates NATO kinase. Now, Bacillus subtilis is used to ferment boiled or steamed soybeans to make natto, a traditional Japanese food. Natto kinase was discovered by Dr. Hiroyuki Sumi during his search for natural treatment for blood clots. And that's where the discovery of natto kinase came from. When you look at the cardiovascular system, what is it made up of? Fresh blood comes in from the lungs. Your heart pumps this amazing oxygenated blood through your system and then deoxygenated blood is coming back to the heart and that sends it off to the lungs. The red blood cells are the things that carry oxygen with it as they're coming from the lungs and the white blood cells are the things that provide immune support. So the cardiovascular system is extremely important because it's not just pumping oxygen but it's also important for your immune system. You see these systems are interconnected. Here are the types of vessels. You have arteries, veins, and capillaries. The inner layer is made up of endothelial cells. One of the most important molecules, the discovery of some people have say of the last century was nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a very, very important pervasive molecule that supports the cardiovascular system. So let's go to NATO kinase. Uh, this is a relatively new compound on the scene. You can see there's about 183 research articles, a relatively small amount. There's been about seven clinical trials and it's really over the last 30 years that people have really started studying. So you can see not a lot of articles. Now with Cytosol, the technology that I created for my PhD work, we have the ability to take these papers without cherry picking, bring them together and start really analyzing the biomolecular functions. We have the ability to take these research articles, distill them, so we can look at these research articles on NATO kinase, how do they have to do with a particular systems architecture, in this case, cardiovascular function, and we'll go over that, we'll summarize that, and then we can understand how that product affects that at the molecular systems level. I wanted to let you know that we use the technology here. We've helped many, many companies over the last 16 years, a lot of smart, innovative companies, but we decided with all the mathematical models we've created, why don't we try to use this to compare compute the best product we could think of from the science out there for reducing pain and inflammation, pain and discomfort. And that resulted in us creating MV25 using Cytosol. We're going to have more products that are going to be coming, but let me just show you what MV25 is about for those of you who haven't heard about it. But this is using Cytosol in a beneficial way, not to just do research, but find combination therapies. Hi, I'm Barbara Ann. My hands would cramp up so that I couldn't hold cards or knit or crochet. And they would go like that. Not have to use this when I played cards with my grandkids. And I'd start taking that MV25. After a bit, I was able to fold cards in my hand. Very, very little cramping, hardly at all anymore. MV25. Hi, my name is Sandy. I'm a Taekwondo instructor. I tore my ACL during Taekwondo. I had a lot of pain and limited mobility. I've been taking the MV25 for about six months now. After the first week, I noticed a big difference. After the second week, almost literally no pain. My name is Jeremy and I suffer from a lower back problem. Hurt my back at work years ago and I can go to the chiropractor, do all kinds of different things and nothing seems to help. And I decided to try MV25. I didn't notice a difference immediately, but within a few days the pain went away and it stayed away. I've continued to take it and even when I do things that I shouldn't do, it seems to go away a lot quicker than it ever did before. It's clean food certified, it's made in the US. If you go to bashiva.com right on the shop, you'll click there or you can go right to mv25.life either way. And then from there, 
you can click on the bottle and you can order. If you buy six bottles, you get six bottles for free. Please take advantage of it because first of all, it's going to help you. It's going to help our movement. And it really supports the fact that we want to take science-based approaches to natural products. So NATO kinase, what is NATO kinase? It's an alkaline serine protease. It's made up of 275 amino acid residues. This molecular weight is about 28 kilodalton. So this is again a protease, which means it's a enzyme which facilitates chemical reaction. And this does is by cleaving, which means cutting protein proteins at the serine residue. Okay, we'll talk about that. So what are the biological effects of NATO kinase? Well, first of all, it's antithrombotic, very important for cardiovascular health, antihypertensive, again, very good for cardiovascular health, anti-arthrosclerotic, lipid lowering, antiplatelet, which means anticoagulant, and it also protects the brain. This is all coming from the research that we've distilled at Cytosol. So those are the biological benefits. What are the health benefits? Well, it has multiple health benefits, as you can see here, infertility, Alzheimer's disease, heart disease, peripheral artery disease, muscle spasms, CFD, angina, hemorrhoids, varicose veins, fibromyalgia, endometriosis. A lot of things involving, if you notice, heart disease, involving blood, right? Varicose veins, endometriosis, vascular vessels, and hemorrhoids, etc. So a multiple number of health benefits. We want to, first of all, take a step back and we're looking at NATO kinase, which itself is a compound, a system, and how it affects something called the cardiovascular system. Nitric oxide. So let's take an important look at that because it's very important to understand in this context. Well, nitric oxide, as you'll find out, is a vasodilator, right? Its key role is maintaining blood pressure in your body. Very important. It's anti-arthrogenic, right? Starts arteriosclerosis. It's generated when enos, which is an enzyme catalysis of arginine, and when you exercise and all this blood is moving through your body, that triggers the nitric oxide production. Now we're zooming in, and this is the endothelial cell. But what do you see on the surface of the endothelial cell are receptors? But over here is this little Christmas tree structure. It's called a glycocalyx. This is why I find this stuff so fascinating. It's almost like someone created all this. So here's a glycocalyx. So when the blood flows, the blood flow moves a glycocalyx. When the mechanical force on the glycocalyx, this movement initiates conversion of arginine to nitric oxide by the enzyme. And it goes through all these chemical systems. Let's put these systems together. NATO kinase is shown to reduce blood pressure. It's shown to dissolve blood clots via degradation of fibrin, and it prevents platelet aggregation. So that's what NATO kinase does. How does it do it? First of all, hypertension is caused by the constriction of the smooth muscle cells via renin-angiotensin pathway. We have angiotensin 1, which is called ang1, which is a hormone, is converted to angiotensin 2 by enzyme ACE. If you remember, ACE is the receptor that the COVID spike protein connects with. So it's important to keep that in mind. In the presence of ACE, angiotensin 1 is converted to angiotensin 2. So here's a muscle cell, here's a cell surface. So angiotensin 2 lands on the angiotensin 2 receptor. There's a receptor on the cell surface, and that leads to increase in calcium ion influx in the smooth muscle cells of the blood vessel. So now you get more calcium coming in. And the calcium ions upregulate, which means increase, the enzyme myosin light chain kinase that constricts the blood vessel. So again, this is how you get hypertension. And guess what NATO kinase does? NATO comes in here and it blocks ACE. So ANG2 never gets created and it stops this constriction. So that's how it lowers blood pressure. Next thing we wanna go through, it breaks up blood clots. That's called fibrinolytic effect. Fibrin is a protein that's involved in clotting of the blood. So fibrin, that protein, together with platelets, binds with red blood cells to form a blood clot. And what does NATO kinase do? What NATO kinase does, it breaks down fibrin directly and thereby destroying the blood clot. The next thing is antiplatelet effect. So under trauma or inflammatory conditions, your blood clotting factors such as thromboxane B2 are upregulators. Now thromboxane B2 promotes the activation of platelets and their aggregation leading to blood clot formation, right? And what NATO kinase prevents is blood clot formation by direct inhibition of thromboxane B2. When we look at systems approaches, NATO kinase does something very interesting. It increases transport, right? It increases the flow of blood, right? So this is from a systems approach. It lowers conversion, right? It reduces the conversion of ANG1 to ANG2, right? So it blocks that. And NATO kinase lowers kapha, which is the storage. By the way, 
what I'm t sharing with you here is storage is this component. So everything in the universe, when you take the course, you'll get it is transport, conversion, storage. Truth is movement, right? I mean, freedom is movement of information. Conversion is a scientific method and storage is health. So you can understand everything in the universe from the system's approach. So when you take NATO kinase, it increases movement, right? It's increasing flow. It's reducing this conversion and it's lowering your blood vessels. So there you go. So how much should you take? It's not a medical program. We look at the research and we distill it. So when we distill that research, this is what we find. We find out that NATO kinase, by the way, you can get NATO kinase at the health food store for anti-thrombosis effect. And that's 2000 FU extract per day. That's from Kurawasa et al. For arteriosclerosis, 6,500 FU per day. That's from 2017. And NATO kinase for hypertension, so you can see anywhere between 2000 FU to 6,500 based on the different things helps in hypertension. NATO kinase is a natural enzyme in summary found in fermented boiled soy. Fermented boiled soy. Fermented boiled soy. It doesn't just come in soy. It's gotta be fermented. NATO kinase prevents hypertension by inhibiting vasoconstriction caused by the angiotensin II. It blocks that ACE. NATO kinase also dissolves blood clots by directly breaking down fibrin, which holds the clot together. And NATO kinase prevents blood clots by down-regulating platelet aggregation in the blood cells. Thank you, everyone. Be well. Thank you.